Okay, so continue natin yung uh, discussion about sa post-test, yung answer sa post-test. So, nasa B na tayo. So, sa B, you're going to give the coordinates of CISA and ordinate of the following points. So, gumawa tayo ng table sa baba. Pag sinabing coordinates, yun yung ordered pair mo na X and Y. So, for number one, we're looking for point P. As you can see, point P, ayan, nasa quadrant 1 siya, right? Okay, so activate natin yung ating pen. Wait, okay. Okay, so nasa quadrant 1 siya. Okay, quadrant 1. Okay, lagyan natin ng number. So this is your y-axis. So we have positive 1, 2, and 3. Then, x-axis, so positive 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, point P, so, unahin natin muna si abscissa. So, take note na yung abscissa mo, yun yung x mo. Then, yung ordinate mo is yung y mo. So, sa, ordinate, sa coordinates mo, take note na laging nauuna si x. Kaya nga, x diba sa alphabet, x, y. Okay. So, x... So, which is, nasaan siya? So, nasa tapat ng 1 and 3. So, that means 1, positive 1 and positive 3. So, lagay mo dyan 1 and 3. So, same positive since quadrant 1. Next, so we're done with 1. P, so we have 1, comma 3. Next is L. We're looking for L. So, and dito siya. Take note quadrant 1. This is quadrant 2. This is quadrant 3. And this is quadrant 4. Okay, as you can see, ito si L. X tayo. So, yung horizontal line. Okay, lagyan natin negative 1. Lagyan natin ng label. Negative 2. Negative 3. And negative 4. So, sa L natin, sa x-axis, so nasa negative 2 siya. Tama? So, let's write it down here. Negative 2. Then, y. Lagyan natin negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So, nasa negative 1 din. Negative 2, negative 1. So, si L mo is negative 2, negative 1. Good? Good. Okay, now, let's take a look at point A. Nasaan si point A? Saan dito siya? So, nasa tapat siya ng positive 4. Change tayo yung color. Uh, blue. Yeah. So, positive 4. X-axis. Ah, lagay muna natin ito. Negative 2. Negative 1. So, dito sa number 3, point A, we have positive 4. So, since positive siya, lagyan natin dito. Sisa. Then, nasa tapat niya is, okay, positive 2. Okay, so lagyan niya lang dyan. Yung ordered pair is 4 and 2. Ordinate is 2. So, you have positive 4 and positive 2. Nasa quadrant, 1. Correct. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Sige, change tayo. Brown naman. We're looking for point N. Asan siya? Okay, it's here. So, looking at your Cartesian plane, nasa tapas siya ng negative 3. Okay, x-axis mo. So, lagay mo negative 3. So, that is your abscissa. Okay, next. Nasa tapat naman siya. Okay, vertical line. Yan. Positive? Correct. That's positive 2. So, lagay natin. Positive 2. Okay. You're good. So, point N. Yung coordinates mo, negative 3 and positive 2. Okay. Good. Now, let's move on to the last point. Okay, last number. So, change tayo na. Okay, wait. Change tayo na. Color. Gawin natin red. Red. Okay. Red. 
E. So, we're looking for point E. So, nasa quadrant 4. Correct? Quadrant 4. So, stang tapat siya sa x-axis mo. Okay. So, that, uh, dito ta, 3. So, that is positive 3. And, okay. Negative 3. So, positive 3, that's your x. Coordinate. And, y coordinate or coordinate or yung coordinate mo negative. Okay, you're good. So, once you learned how to plot points and find points in the partition plane, so I think madali yung assessment sa inyo. Okay, so next video naman, we will move on to Mosul 5.2, illustrating linear equations in two variables. So I'll be discussing naman yung post-test again and yung discussion about the topic. So para ready kayo sa 5.1 and 5.2 assessment next week. Okay, so that ends our lesson. Short lang siya. So abangan na lang sa GCL descending. Kung may question po, just send um, send a comment. Okay? Bye for now.